Hello guys and welcome to another video. My name is Alex from Tech Fusion and today for you guys I have this RTX 3090 right here. This is the MSI version, uh, the Supreme X uh, variant. It's quite a beefy guy and today we're going to take it out and see exactly what Ethereum mining we can get out of it. So we're going to be running two OC versions here, first one being the efficient OC and then we're going to be running an aggressive OC and see exactly what is the difference in mega hashes for both of these uh, settings and exactly what is the power and efficiency rating for both of them. So another thing that I want to touch upon today is how exactly you can uh, tune in your uh, MSI afterburner and how you can achieve stability because I've seen people uh, complaining about stability and uh, having crashes in their T-Rex miners or any miners or any other miners of sorts but uh, the idea is that uh, they're not tweaking the settings correctly so that's why they're having a problem with the software or even with their PCs or rigs just going down. This being said guys, let's jump into the video. Right guys, so before you can uh, carry on here, I have to address an issue about the overclocking and how you can do it correctly because I've seen people complaining uh, that their locked in values are actually fluctuating so they're not being able to uh, reach stability and that is causing software issues and uh, maybe even crashes with T-Rex or even crashes of their PCs or platforms and that is because basically what's happening is people are locking in certain frequencies and they're not uh, adjusting the power limit accordingly so the GPU cannot reach those um, those frequencies or they're, even if they're reaching them they cannot sustain them for long before it starts to drop out so as an example of this uh, right now we're stable at uh, 1100 megahertz so to say and if we increase let's say the value let's say I want uh, 1300 megahertz and I'm going to lock it here and then click apply but I'm not going to adjust the power limit what you will see here happening is it's not even reaching the 1300 megahertz uh, it's trying to and it's fluctuating all over the place and let's say now I'm starting to increase but I'm not going to increase enough what is going to happen at some point it's uh, it will reach the value and then drop and reach it again and then drop and so on and so forth as you see it's almost there but not quite so I have to increase it a little bit extra so let's add another 1% here okay as you can see it reached uh, 1305 here and so far it's uh, stable I could say but let's say I'm increasing the memory clock right now we should see a drop yeah, as you see here so it's drawing in it needs more power to address the increase in memory clock but it's limited on the power limit here so what's happening is that you'll have to actually either undervolt or undercloak your GPU I should say or increase the power limit before you reach stability so for instance as we've had it before at 1000 megahertz and 74% uh, it is actually quite capable and now we can say that we're at the point where it is stable so if we are to drop to another point here in power limit Let's see what's happening, you see it is not stable at 1305, it's just starting to jump around. So that means that we are not stable with the settings that we are asking the GPU to give us because it doesn't have enough power. So every time when you're doing your OCs, check that you are stable before running your miners or anything else that applies even to games actually. Because this can lead to issues where you have crashes of your PCs or your mining software. So every time you do it, I cannot stress this enough, check that you are stable before you continue on with your uh, work. Right guys, so just to get into things here, so as you can see, I've been running the MSI RTX 3090 for about 16 hours now, using these settings over here, and we are just shy of 120 mega hashes a second. Now temperature wise, as you can see, we're sitting at 98 now, but I've seen dips of 96 and highs of 91, as the software can indicate here which means that this is definitely the max um, temperature that you are able to reach with this setting after 16 hours. So uh, as you can see, these uh, values here are reached using some 290 watts and an efficiency rating which is just north of uh, 410 uh, kilo hashes per watt. Now, as a general uh, rule of thumb, I would, uh, I would say that anything north of 400 here, that means you're running good, you're running efficient on your cards and anything less, that means that uh, you can definitely improve something in your settings in order to increase the score overall here. So the higher the score, the better the efficiency, the lower the score, the worse the efficiency. That's, uh, that's the key here. So just to go over the uh, settings over here quickly, as you can see I've set my power limits uh, to 71. The temperature limit is locked in with the power limit and the core clock as you can see here on the graph 
It's just uh, around uh, 11,000 megahertz, so 1125 over here with uh, 712 uh, millivolts. So you can just say 11,000 with uh, 710. And the memory clock is set at plus 1,000, and the fan speeds are locked at 70%. So this is able to give us these settings over here, and this is the most efficient that I could get my car to work. Now, if you're having any different um, options or any different settings than me and you're running better than me I would kindly ask you to leave your thoughts and uh, comments down in the box below so that everybody can see in case that there are people out there including myself that would like to run more efficient I would uh, kindly ask you to leave your thoughts down in the box below okay guys so now moving on to the most aggressive setting that I'm able to use uh, with this RTX 3090 once again the limiting factor for me is the temperature of the uh, junction of the memory I should say so right now we're running it at 76% power limit and the temperature limit still being linked with the power limit. Um, there, I, I could increase the power limit, but what this does, it will actually just increase my overall um, wattage that are being drawn from the PSU without any real world difference on the mega hashes. So this is uh, the lowest I could get it and actually as well to say the most aggressive I could get it for the amount of uh, mega hashes that I'm able to get out of this card. So once again, 76% power limit here, linked with the temperature limit and the core clock right now, it's linked and uh, locked in at uh, 1200 megahertz with around 740 uh, millivolts, as you can see here. The memory clock has uh, been bumped up to 1500 extra megahertz here. Um, that's just 500 megahertz extra than the settings before. And the fan speed now running at 100%. As you can see, we're stable here and we're able to achieve uh, around 125, shy of 126 mega hashes a second. But the efficiency has dipped somewhere just below 400. Now, it all depends on you and your preferences. But as you can see right now, we have temperatures of 96 with maximums of 98. Once again, this is a temperature controlled room where we're sitting at 22 degrees Celsius. So this is what's happening with my, uh, my GPU from MSI anyway. Right guys, so here we are at the end of the video where I have the table for you as promised. So on the left we're running the efficient settings and on the right the aggressive settings for the MSI RTX 3090 um, running Ethereum. Uh, the ambient air temperature that I am running my card in is 22 degrees Celsius. I had to mention this because it's actually very important as a factor. And the rest of the things here, they're actually quite uh, self-explanatory so I don't have to go over them once again. I do have to highlight that the maximum temperature for your uh, GDDR6X memory it's rated at 105C. So if you are to go over to Micron's website here, as you can see Micron and GDDR6, and you scroll down a little bit, you'll find the operating temperature of the chiplets which is uh, sitting at the normal range is between 0 and 95C with a maximum of 105C. So don't get yourself confused if you're running hardware info and you're hovering over the GPU junction uh, temperature box over here. You will see they are telling you that thermal throttling starts at around 110C. That's actually false because you should follow the manufacturer specification which in this case for GDDR6 memory uh, that's been made by Micron. Uh, you have these temperatures over here. So these are your, uh, your, your hard um, guidance. Guys, if you do like this sort of content on this channel here, we'd greatly appreciate you subscribing to the channel and consider giving us a like as it will help share our videos uh, on the YouTube platform nowadays and it will greatly appreciate your effort of clicking that like and maybe that notification bell in the corner there just to stay tuned with future videos. As well, upcoming video for you guys, I'm going to take this RTX 3090 right here and do some, uh, well, I could say ghetto modification to it because I'm going to try and increase its uh, thermal output and dissipation capability. So stay tuned for that video coming in about a week's time from now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This was Alex from Tech Fusion. If you liked the video, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It will greatly help us out. And maybe even consider subscribing to the channel if you want to stay tuned to future videos. And uh, well, if you want to carry on and watch more videos, you can uh, click the link right here or otherwise you can click well, somewhere here to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys once again and see you guys in the next one.